What's going on YouTube? It's your man, your brother, more motivation. I'm just gonna jump into it. Tips and tricks on how to save more money, even though you think it's not possible. So, in order to save more money, right? Tip number one. You have to identify your needs versus your wants, right? You're gonna have to make a sacrifice. Not everything you buy, not every restaurant you go to, not every uh, financial choice you make is always a need. A lot of times it's wants, right? One way to save more money is going to the grocery store instead of eating out. Buying the things you do need instead of to adjust the things you want and be able to know the difference between what do I need for the month to survive what do I need for the month to keep me you know satisfied keep me intact keep me in track and keep me also with having money that's the difference between just buying things out of emotion buy things that you may want buy things that you don't need Right, so number one is identifying your needs versus your wants. Number two, identifying when in the month you have to pay your bills. Normally for a lot of people, it's the first two weeks of the month, right? And for a very few, it's the last two weeks of the month. So what does that tell you? It means that for the first two weeks of the month, you have to stay more grounded. So you have to put most of your money into your bills, put most of your money into, uh, I guess your due dates and things like that. So the last two weeks of the month, you can be more free and you can put it into your savings and things like that, right? So number two, it's identifying what time of the month your bills fall under. And the last one is having a goal on how much you want to have saved at the end of the year, half the year, quarter, and each month, right? So we established the first three things you need to be able to save more money, right? As a person, you should be able to save 10% each month you make money, right? So if you're making 2000 a month, you should be able to save 200. So that's only 100 each paycheck. You can get two paychecks a month, right? A lot of people say, oh, it's not possible, it's this, I have too many bills, blah, 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 blah. But if you follow the first three steps I said, you, you're going to be able to save 10%. 10% of 2,000 is 200. That's not really that much, right? If you really sit down and think about it, it's not that much, right? I promise. So you have to be able to save 10%. That 10% of 2,000 each month equates to 2,000 for the whole year. 2,012 months, or I'm sorry, 2,400 for the year. That's not really that much. That's not really that much. You're really just uh, saving a paycheck and 10% of and two more paychecks, right? That's not really that much. It's very doable, it's very doable. And the thing about your goals, you have to be able to save 10% of your earnings the whole year. You have to be able to do that, right? By knowing your needs versus your wants, by identifying when your bills and stuff are due, and by having goals. All right, you should be able to save 10%. And when you've done that, you can you can make investment in certain things, right? Especially at a young age. When you develop this skill at a young age, you'll be able to be in the 10,000s, in the 20,000s, 50,000s, 100,000s by the time you reach your 30s, right? Truly important skill to have, being able to manage money. Be a, and this is something that's not really taught in schools, which is disappointing, but you can learn this on your own. Right? Do not spend more than you make. It's dumb. Don't stunt for people. Don't stunt to impress people. If you're a bachelor, do not buy a house for five people. Right? If you're someone living in an area where you just need to go to work, which is probably five minutes away, you don't need to buy a fancy car to impress people. Know the difference between the needs and wants, and that falls under that. Right? And no what falls between your lane stay in your lane do not try to impress people and spend more money and have no money in your pocket doing that that's one of the most important things and finally 
and so I'm gonna uh, end the video. Know who you are, know your goals, and know what you want to do financially. That's another thing. And that can fall under setting goals, and that we can talk about more about that in another video. Right? And with that being said, just know the value of money. Just know that it took you hard work to get it. So don't go out blowing it on anything. Blow it on the things that you require. Put it in your savings. Right? There's nothing wrong with having savings because later on you can make investments. That's what I'm trying to say. So I'm jumping off topic too much. So I'm going to end the video. Thank you for coming. Make sure to like the video. Make sure to share the video. Make sure to subscribe and take into consideration everything I said. Click the notification bell to be notified for more tips, tricks, entertainment, motivation, and more. I'll see you guys later. Peace.